Excellent. Uh, welcome to batch two of coursework two for 3218 Games Design at Southampton University. Uh, sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is Adrian Chavin, a lecturer on the course. Brilliant. I'm Dave Millard, so I'm another lecturer on the course. I'm Max Heyman, I'm a demonstrator on the course. And I'm Tom Blount, I also uh, lecture on the course. Brilliant. Okay, um, so uh, we've got four games, I think, to look at. So this coursework, we asked the students to uh, make a game focused around the idea of storytelling. So we wanted a story engine, so a game, uh, uh, a game that had gameplay that affected the story and a story that affected the gameplay. And we said they could uh, be inspired by one of three fairy tales, either Rapunzel, the Frog Prince, or the Travelling Musicians. Right, okay. Shall we uh, have a look at our, our first game then? I think this one is based on the Travelling Musicians as well. Yeah, there we go. Travelling Musicians. So I will... You get a lot of very similarly named games in this, uh, <laughs> yeah. in this coursework. Okay, so here we go. So I <clears throat> don't okay. think there's any sign. Um, so we're doing options first. Or, or help, help, maybe? Help. Seems, help. Yeah. Save so. animals from their abusive owners. The more animals you save, the higher score you achieve. Uh, during night time, we're going to lose health if you're not inside a house. Okay. After finding a house, you must defend it from robbers to survive and level oh, your characters by defeating those robbers. Okay, right. Sounds kind of Minecrafty. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just go into it. We can worry about options later. So you start off as a donkey. Yep. Here we go. Use the or, arrow keys. Or rather, like a horse's head, at least, and you can sort of float around. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's that's surprisingly freaky. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, wait until you see the dog. Uh. Yes, I remember the dog on this one. Uh, so, so, so they said a lot of the scenery here is actually procedurally generated because they wanted a sort of interesting um, okay. to explore. Yes, and um, the map wow. itself is also procedurally generated, so yeah. that if you restart and play the game again, your um, nice. houses do not. To sit in the same place. Mm -hmm. So the problem e. is, it means finding e finding enter. a house that you're. So the houses have different difficulty levels. There's easy, medium, and veteran. Okay. That's the dog. <laughs> yes. What a large, stripy dog. Uh, it's a great city to turn musician. Okay. So apparently there are there are very few 3D assets on the easy store of dogs. Oh, there's your robber. So you have oh, to sing a oh, I see. to get rid of them. Oh, and I'm I'm sort of throwing notes around. Yes. Yeah. Um. So. So the movement is actually, for some reason, which I can't say why, is really satisfying. Yes. However, the turning circles. But the turning right. circles yeah. terrible, and 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 because I can shoot forward, and they're just always chasing me. I, yeah. Where are they coming from? Uh, those white spots on the ground are the spawn points, so that's where they show up from. So I, my favourite strategy while I was playing this in the expo was just to back myself into a corner and just constantly shoot forwards. Yeah. I was actually enjoying the. Ooh, um, we survived the night. Now onwards to the next house. Although we appear to have, oh, we got yeah, away with it. Uh, all right. So now, so I'm not very well after my abysmal performance in there. Um, daytime left. Oh, there's a counter in the top. Okay, so I sort of move around. So. But this is a hard house. Ward cockerel. <laughs> I like. I kind of quite like the fact that you're kind of, yeah, collecting collect the animals like reward badges. Bravo, upon my word, something or other. Um, so that's sort of yeah. slightly out of sync. Actually, yeah. so so what they actually did here was they used, they went and found some version of the original text and uh, and tried to keep that in place. Right. And now you've got uh, two, two yes. creatures to fire notes at people. So I and enjoyed that the uh, firing mechanism was very Space Invader-esque in that it would um, flow as you move, so you can arc it. And just yeah. do yeah. these sprays of notes across the... Last night was a blur. Oh, because we failed. Yes. So you at least you're checkpointed and you still have your dog tiger. Well, so you've only got... <laughs> you've got to, <laughs> 10 days to get the most score you can. Okay, so let, me, you, let me try and... So, so... You don't actually need to collect all the animals to uh, to win. It's just okay. a case of get the highest score. And the more houses you beat in that 10 days, then the better your score. Oh, I see. Okay. But the more animals you have, the easier it is to do some of the harder houses. Right, so I'm gonna. If I try. Can't so how did you? You can't. Top you, can't you, you can't back up because right, you can there's sort of no. Get into the corner and then spin around. Oh, 
Like, oh. Or a different house. Yeah, so that is a veteran <laughs> house, so you might want to see if there's an easier one to go do. Go find a cat oh, somewhere. I, I, to have, I appear to have sunk through the floor. Oh, there's an, e- oh, that's an easy house. Oh, is that an easy one on the yeah, bottom? But, now, oh, but you can get a potion. But the reward is a potion. Veteran. Well, yeah, it might make me feel better about myself. <laughs> if I can, uh, if I can, right, right in the corner. Ah, ah, yeah. Ooh. 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 Uh. No, that's not going to work. Where's the door? Can I? If I there exit, is no door. there is no exit. Once you're in, you're in. So, f- Fifty creatures leave. Success. Uh, Fifty creatures enter. Two deep. I think maybe the secret is not to move around. Actually, just yeah. to tap in the direction you're going. Which is a shame because you're right. The movement does feel sort of quite. Yeah, sort it's of quite fun. Fluid. It's good out here, but it's it's funny how it sort of just doesn't match the. It's good for exploring, but it doesn't match the combat basically. Right. Let's see so if the I slight can... problem is the fact that it always if you if you die you end up reset to about twenty health out of like a hundred. <clears throat> yeah. And the problem is it's very difficult to increase that ever. No. We got a potion though. Yeah, but we lost more health than the potion gave us back. Is there sound that's not turned on, or is there no, no sound I, on this I, one? No, I think I there's think no there sound. Is. I couldn't remember if there was when I played this one. So that was that was mostly my technique, where I just sort of hide hide in the cupboard and fire fire notes. So the thing, that's the thing. If you're just sort of turning on the spot, the turning circle's not too bad. But it's when you're sort of trying to run away from them. Yeah. You lost a lot of health with one touch. Yeah. <clears throat> so if we start talking about the overall quality of the game, mm. what do you reckon? Keep firing, Dave. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Determined to win the cockroach. So, so it's um, it's put together. There's there's no music, but I enjoy that the map is. Uh, so this is a completely different map than when I played it at the expo. Uh, so it, so it'll have you know you can keep playing it and, and have that exploration component. Um, there are a few bugs in terms of we lost our characters there for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, there are a couple when I played it in the expo as well. We had, yeah. I ended up losing so much health yeah. that I showed up in this overworld on negative hit points. I did that too as well. Yeah. <laughs> you were, there, you were even worse than me. Oh, I was much worse at this. No, that's a cockerel. Oops. Oh, that's a veteran one. So the, well, this, this is one of the cat. problems that I sort of spoke to them in the expo about. In the because they've randomly generated the the um, the sort of difficulties and the levels yeah. and the layout of the level, it's actually really hard to find a house that's you easy enough for us to do. Yeah. yeah. Also, the gameplay is the gameplay is a little bit weird. I mean, we're sort of firing notes at these sort of position baddies yeah so sort of thematically the traveling <clears throat> musicians is all about like companionship and that kind of thing and sort of working together as a team to overcome mm. obstacles yes and there is that element of it because you can if you have three animals this house is actually pretty easy but the thing is it's not really there's not a lot it changes it yeah. mostly just makes our hitbox wider that's right and yeah, there's another I, I, I think about. they could have done some more imagination on what the animals contribute. So they did say they purposefully, um, uh, when they add creatures, they sort of put them around the donkey to sort of protect it. Right, okay. Because they're the, always the lowest. But given that the other creature, you still lose if one of the other creatures dies. I don't know if it is that valuable. Especially if you, when you die, you get the same health between yeah, the exactly. so. <clears throat> Maybe if it was a percentage and you got the same percentage. These things do I have to kill? All Quite them. a lot. <laughs> Seems to be an awful lot of them. Nope. Yeah, it's just so easy to. You guys want to have another go? Do you want to. Say, it really needs to. Max, you want to have a drive? So, um, narrative wise, what's actually going on with the kind of narrative I've been given? So, we are getting little snippets of the narrative from the original. Um, Story, yes. Yeah. yeah, they found a, a version of the original story text, and they were trying to preserve those in the. Uh, um, yeah, there's no boundary to the edge of the world. You can just go straight off it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so so we had a premise. We had the stuff, the setup at the beginning, and we had some dialogue between the animals. But what? But it's it's very detached from the actual game. The itself. game itself, yes. 
Um, so, in, so basically, there is no because is there an ending here? So, if you there, you said there's no success criteria, it's just high score. So yeah, when you get so I don't know how it it may sort of give you slightly different text based on how many animals you rescue, but I don't yeah. know. We'll have to get right, to day tenancy. So it feels to me like it's like the first half of the story. So you did that straight away. Didn't you? That's it. The potion, that wasn't a cop. Oh. The potion increases your max health, not your current health. And there's no oh, way really? To, yeah. That doesn't oh, seem to yeah. be a way to get back up to the that, that, that is odd, isn't it? I yes. can't. I'll have that. So, so it, mm. mechanic wise, it feels like. I mean, there's the Minecraft going to go under things. that house. Now. There's space invaders, we're just going to go shoot them up in arcs as the enemies come at us. <clears throat> but. Is there a tie together? Oh, God. Or a reason in the narrative to want to do those things? No. And I, so they so they they've got this kind of basic. That's it. The basic premise is to do with, um, you know, they've, they've got the animals, they've got the houses, they've got the robbers. Mm -hmm. So they've got those elements in there. So the, the narrative elements are present, mm. but the theme of kind of working together is is, is quite weak. And like I said, it, it feels like they've got the first part of the story where you're where you're starting to put you know put the band together. Well, they um, sort of combine the two parts of the story, right? Because right at the end, you face the robbers. Yes. Here we face them throughout. But, yeah, but I mean, narratively, there's there's nothing narratively about these robbers, is there? There's, no. They're, they're no, mentioned, they I think, in the premise. But We're so, an so the now. narrative <laughs> stuff is all about, hey, come and join us, and it's the text from the story. But um, so, in terms of choices, you can narrative choices that you might make that have an impact on the game. There really aren't any. There is the choice about which animal to go for, but really that becomes a mechanical choice in the game. It's, not even, it's not even really a choice in terms of animal, right? They all have the same ability, so it's more just a case of which level is easy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you've got a cat. So um, the slight <coughs> argument to that stat, to that statement would be, it, it is near impossible, at least for me, to get the cockerel unless I had all three animals. So you have a choice if you know... That's my point, it's not but picking yes. the animal based on... You're right, the animal, by any game, it's, based on. you're right. And then the and then what happens in the game has no impact on the narrative. There's yeah. no there's no alteration in the text you see or the way that the story unfolds. Well, unless we get to day ten, and like let's get to ten and see how we do. You, you yeah. didn't. Did they they say anything in their game notes about um, kind of? Um, how fast they progress by what decisions they take. Um, <laughs> the player looks around a procedurally generated map containing grass, dirt, trees and buildings. They then choose a building to stay in at night. Every building has difficulty and reward, but this isn't describing the story engine as the problem, this is just describing the gameplay. Yeah. Uh, unlocking higher level characters first is more challenging, but again, the level of the, does the level of the character impact it other than maybe their health? Yeah. And that's the thing, as soon as you lose one um, mission then they're all at the same health forever. Yes. So, it's really, so I did speak to them in the expo and they did admit that they probably spent a bit too long on the procedural generation of stuff rather than focusing <laughs> on the narrative well, so we'll, we'll, we'll put them in good stead for the next course yeah exactly but, so but next time they'll, sort of, they'll yeah. have that bit in the back hopefully so okay so what about the, the way in which the story is told the way that it the, you know the, the, the synergy between the, the themes of the story and the game the use of the kind of storytelling elements, the kind of the way they painted the protagonists, antagonists, those kind of things. What do we, what do we think? Um, the antagonists are, are not super well characterized. Uh, I think that's a that's a that's a very British way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, there, there's pretty much no characterization is there of them whatsoever. I mean, um, so they're, they're a, me a mechanical antagonist. Yeah, and they. Gen they don't necessarily need the strongest characterization no. because they are just there for you to defeat. But the point is, yeah. we've not even been introduced to why we're breaking into these houses and defeating them. No, it's no, not a case of they no the cat up or anything. It's yeah. just. <clears throat> I mean, in terms of pacing as well. Um, uh, pacing wise, they do have this sort of you know we've got this sort of period of sort of dramatic sort of tension while we're between the between the and then you've got the lull while you sort of. Walk that is true. Explore, that but is true. But but overall, it doesn't ramp up, right? Well done. Wow, we've got But fought. then, oh. yeah, conclusion is yeah. just, you got this many points. Yeah. Right. I mean, you and couldn't even have phrased this in a case of, oh, you, you like, you practiced so much at yes. music that you got, that you formed the band and lived yeah. happily ever after. But, and again, the, the, the connection between the story that they're telling and the game is, is pretty, pretty weak, really. Because um, they don't make anything of the, the whole house breaking, defeating the robbers and all the rest of it. Um, okay, um, should we move on? Yep. Okay, so our next game, which is loading up. Musical Thieves. 
Musical thieves. Musical thieves. It's like musical chairs, but instead of sitting sitting down, you steal things. Okay, fine. No, that, that, that was a fib. That's not what the game is about. Oh, it's I, Musical I, Thieves 3 Electric Boogaloo. Return, Return of the Tokyo Drift HD Remastered. I like it already. Extreme Edition. Yeah. So you have a little cutscene at the start. So can I can I get this to go full screen? Looks like it would benefit from a... There we go. <clears throat> there were once four animals, a dog, a cat, a donkey and a cock. They came together with a grand dream of making a living from playing music for the joy of all involved. Uh, but they were at any instruments. With mixed feelings, they resolved to take the instruments they needed from the houses in the local town under a solemn pact to repay those houses for the thefts as soon as they could. And so the four animals gathered before the house in the warm dusk. Shrouded by the bushes, they waited the full cover of night, calming their nerves. They had a dream to fulfill, and this is the first step on that path. Do you remember the drill? We get in, we find the instrument, and then we get out. Oh, we get other stuff. Okay, we're not thievey thieves. There are guards patrolling, and if they catch you, we're all done for. So, like a stealth setup. And remember the procedure. After the instrument returns to the meeting point, we leave no one behind. So, who's going in? So, this is cool. So, co op, okay. Oh. So, age, do you want to take. I'm going to be the, the dog. You be the left hand side. Alright. So, <laughs> that was exactly my response when I played this in the episode. I'm just all dog all the time. <laughs> so, so, all of you have right. different powers. I'm going to. Alright, so wait, I can I can so take down guards and can kill dogs, uh, kill guards. guards who have been taken down. And so if I'm the cat, I'm the smallest animal, I can move through small cat doors that the guards can't do. Uh, what's the interact key? Sorry. Uh, for uh, you, it's space. space. Space down the bottom left. Thank you. I quite like this as a little selection screen. This is quite cute, isn't it? Slightly disproportionately sized animals, maybe. It's the most enormous <laughs> chicken in all the world. Um... <laughs> Flies above the map, can't be seen by guards, but can, can't pick up items, but can stun them. No risk of being caught. On God's head. So it's quite good as a sort of support animal then. Mm. I might try being the, the, the cop for this one. Here we go. So I... Ah, you have to have space to select, I think. Okay. Seems like it's really dark chicken. Okay. Oh. I can do guards. So uh, here we go. Uh, and that's where I poop, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That... <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so horrible at these. Okay, here we go. I can't actually get in there. Uh, space stuff. So I quite the the the, the look of it's really nice. I said, have you ever played a game called Monaco? No, because it's a little bit like that. So, so, so you... oh, wait, 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 I need to be supporting you because I can't do much else. Uh, so that's the cat door. So you can't get through the cat. I door. can't get through the cat door. Let's go Only the cat door. can enter these doors. All right. So should Is we that try gold looking... over there? So should we look for the ah? There's drums over here. We need to get over here. Look. Okay. Uh, it looks like this door over here, oh, and then good. there's a guard, so right? If I try and stun the guard, can I do that? Oh, it's like mm. I'm laying eggs. I don't want to stun him there. Oh yeah. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I, oh, 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 you got, oh. oh dear. So back to the stuff. We got caught by the guard. I stunned him in a really bad place. That's sort of my fault. Right, come here, guard. I'm so coming. you can probably just sneak behind him if you're quick. Oops. But, yeah. If you're quick, unfortunately for me, I've. I've... <laughs> Oh, almost. Look out. oh, and you stole some gold as well. Oh, I didn't mean to steal some gold. I meant to kill the guard. <laughs> right, that, right. Killing we, the guard would also love We, we need real teamwork here, right? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> letting you down on this one. I'm letting you down because I can't. Right, I've stunned the guard. There Wait, you stunned him, but I. Okay, stunned him. Right, make Help. a run for it. Ah! Anyway, he's still stunned. You can get through there. And then. Ah, up through here. Slow. There we go. And then we need to get there. Yeah. I suppose we have to move through walls seamlessly. Pick up instruments. Well, there's no roof on the house. So. Okay, so. Escape to the finish area without getting caught. Oh no. Right, so we can come back again. Let me see if I can. Oh, wait for him to come Hang past on. and I'll see if I can stun him down here. So, as the dog, if you press space next to the guard as well, you can knock him down. I thought I did that and I stole some gold. Oh. Uh, Sorry, don't, don't, don't freeze him yet. I'm not there. Yeah, I've got him. So, as, as stealth games go, they've got a very, very clear indication of what the guard can see, which is really good. Yes. Cool. Yes. There you go. Guards killed. No guards killed. I didn't mean Five. to steal that gold. I'm yeah, so sorry. A, I guess we're really thieves now. <laughs> it was tense, but we made it. Stealing people's gold is never part of a plan. Donkey's talking to you. I, I know. I'm sorry, Donkey. Yeah, we're complete. During the day, after a quick pan out, the animals went busking in the town centre. 
They had a total of 12 gold each for the bustling crowds. Now we can buy useful items at the shop. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, right, so now the next one we've got to check containers for the... Oh, no. Uh, ah, okay. Oh, no. So, um, yeah. so, so, okay, so we can select what we want. So we, so I've got 12 gold and you've got 13 gold because you picked all that. Because I stole it, sorry. Um, but I think all of these things cost more than that. Bribe a guard... Yeah, they all the ones I got left. Oh, I can increase the the speed of your poop. Yeah, <laughs> and I can afford it. No, I can't afford it. Sorry. So that would be quite. I'd like I'd like faster poop if I'm honest, but <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just head on because I can't afford anything. Yes. So right, let's try different animals. So let, I'm oh. gonna try and be. I'll be the 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 cat this time. Small animal to be slower. The can take down guards. Um, I sure. can get through the locked red doors. That might be useful. Okay, let's let's try it. Right. Ah, so the entrance is over over on the right. But we have to make it back to that. How did you even see that? I see it now. Thank you. I. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see. It is a bit hard to see. So there's used. Oh, That's not the one we want, though, is it? Ah, oh, there's guards coming. Mm -hmm. So should I steal but, the gold? Yeah. Don't steal the gold. Yeah, I want the green of gold. I'm a cat. Cats have absolutely no morals. You're right, and Donkey, uh, Donkey was the one who was telling everyone off. I better be so good. So I think we need to look at everything. Yes, I think it? so. Right. Okay. So I mean, it's a very. Oh, look. It's a Are very. Are you stealing everything? No, no, not at all. Um, I. It's a oh. very playable game. Uh, it is. Oh. oh no, I'm hiding. Can I hide? You can attack him. Stun him. So are there any cat doors? I can't see any cat doors on this level. I don't know if there are on this level, which is a shame. It'd be nice if it sort of indicated, like either if they had sort of one thing for every animal. So like, uh -oh. a oh, sorry, that was me. Ah. Oh. So oh, either a okay. locked door for every animal, yep. or you know, it just indicated which one would be useful. Sorry, where is the instrument? It's, so it's, it's hidden in one of these hidden. hidden. So, I, yeah. so a slight nitpick I have with this game is, uh, if you if the container has gold in it and not an instrument, then the container disappears and there's a pile of gold there. If the container is empty, the container doesn't disappear; it just stays there. Yeah. So there are a couple of times I ended up checking the same chest about three times. Yeah, I was just oh, I've got lots of coins, which is good. Uh oh, I might have a problem here. Ah, uh, you're fine. Oh, you got there. Is there a back door? It's a back door. I can go through the back door. Oh, so the cat can maybe go down the back here. So if I'm being chased, I can escape down the back. No! Uh, uh, is that a window? Run! Can I get in through the window? So you can stun the guards as well. I haven't yet to be able to stun somebody. <clears throat> nope. No gold here, sir. Oh, I want to go to the bathroom. Not anymore, at least. Um... How do I stun him? I'm so stunning, it, I'm stunning, I'm stunning. You've got to, I think, stun it when <sighs> When I'm looking at him. Every time you get us killed, I lose all the gold Sorry. I stole. Right? Get back to your... Actually, I, don't, I don't think you do. It still says you've got 12 gold. No, I, no I, he I, started on that. Oh, stole from the busking. Somebody else is going to have I to take over why, soon. Because otherwise you could just... Um, um, so I'm not quite clear what the karma thing is about. It just says, you know, you've, so you've lost karma. The simple answer is it gives you the bad ending. I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Sorry. Somebody else somebody else take over so Dave doesn't get pissed at me. <laughs> Losing all the gold. Um, I trust me, I'm never gonna get annoyed at someone for being being bad. So I also don't know if the location of the um the location of the instrument changes depending on whoop. Yeah. I I'm trying to think where we haven't looked. Ah! Um, there's a chest down front. Oh, I front can't get left. out. Sorry, that was me then. See it front you left. Chance to run away. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But, so, uh, but they... I got caught on that door for some reason. So uh, when I was playing this in the expo, we found it's this game gets a lot easier if you just murder everyone. So as the dog, you can yes. kill people that have been taken down, and if you kill all the guards, it's much easier. But then, of course, you get the uh, the bad ending. So where have we not looked? Bottom left. There's a tub down there. See it. Yeah, uh, that one. That, that wasn't it. Oh. So I've been in there. I think we've looked in everywhere. everywhere. We've definitely not. Oh. So I thought I was in. Uh, I took me by surprise then by opening the door. 
Ah, okay. Here we go. So it also says that the donkey can uh, kill guards, but it can't. There we go, we got it. Let's go. Oh, where was it? In the fridge? Yep. Uh, in the thing next to the fridge. Ah. Boop. Oh! <laughs> right, where was it? Next to the fridge. Next to the yeah. fridge. In the top left-hand corner. You don't want to get any gold so you can get the task Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, no. I'll, I'll get the gold you get there. Is that the fridge? No, to the right, Dave. Oh, in there. Yep. So well, we have been there. so sucked into this game, we have completely yeah. forgotten to make any commentary well, on it at we've, all. Well, we said before about... See, I thought I'd been in the fridge lately. Like, it's not letting you me... You got it, right? No, no, you've got it. You've got, got it. it. So oh. the thing's turned blue now. That, right. but you, you're going back for gold. No, I'm not. No, no. no. Get out of here. No, it's <laughs> fine. Oh, I've only got 90. You've got almost as much gold as I have. There we go. See, I needed more than you 20 to buy anything. That's the problem. Gold stolen, 106. Okay. Did you guys uh, notice that the, the dog was really pissed in that one? Like, they changed some of the language <laughs> because the dog was not chosen as yeah. the character. Went busking in the town centre. Oh, 18 gold each. So we do get some gold. <laughs> to rob some people. <laughs> the dog's getting into it. Okay, security cameras this time. Okay, right, so now we can afford some stuff. All animals by 20%, that's got to be good. Let's get the movement speed as well. Movement Brian speed. Guard. Red speed. on locked doors, guards will get up. Yeah, I, I think I... I don't know if that stacks, because that says the movement speed of all animals, and we've both just unlocked it. Oh, uh, well, let's find out. So what should be this time? I'm going to go with the dog. Uh, oh, do you, do you want to be the... All right, fine. No, that's all right. You no, can... no, 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 it's yeah. fine. No, oh. it's fine. So I can take down guards. Ah, uh, and this is why the look right there, the cock. Why it was able to go. Um, it does say it flies above the map. Hence. Yeah. So right. you can you can kill that guard now. Yeah. Arr. Marvelous. It's done a job. Yeah. Okay. So. Ah, uh, it's a red door. So I can't get in the red. So the red doors are interesting because there's obviously they they. The problem is that with the red doors is they can't. Um, they have to give you some alternatives, right? Yeah. Yes. So they have uh, to sort of carefully design the level to make the red door the easiest one to get through. Yeah. Which I think they've sort of managed. Or if they're being chased, it's a good. Yeah. Um, it, it is. It is ultra playable. So I think I said we said in the past. Actually, getting that playability is really difficult. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Bookcases, containers. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think it might be in the toilet this time. Oh no no oh, no no. Don't. Oh, tried to kill the guard. It's a problem you see, you get too aggressive. So, okay. So, quality, quality wise, wise. there. Um, I mean. Quality it wise, is, yeah, it's a really nice game. It is very, very nice game. It's very playable, it looks good. Um, it, it's well constructed. Um, the, the abilities mesh well, and the levels are designed well. I mean, really. Really good job, I think. Um, it would be nice if those empty containers disappeared. But yeah, other, I, other I, than that. I think I, that's that's kind of a, oh, that's the oh so the security can... cameras just drag all the other guards on the level T, but we've killed most of them, and I'm stun locking this. One. Oh, that was loud. That was very loud. So the penalty for the security cameras is they're just really loud. So oh. it. It plays that thing whenever you're in its vision, so it constantly plays it. It is. Right. I'm, have I, you found I, the? No. There's, there's a thing just here. So try this I one. Can't get you can't get through that I'm one. Not a cat. So you have to come all the way down oh, this way. Oh, it's agony. No, um, not through that way. Through. Oh, you do have to go outside. Yeah, it looks. Like oh, you that. have to get. How do I do that? Can you go through that? I thought I went. Is no. that a door there? I thought. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't go through there. Ah! Right. So, okay, so let's talk about. Three. Yeah, we're going to turn that down a little bit. Oh, that's, that's a robot. No! No, oh. no, 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 no. You oh. killed the guard this time. Yeah, it's just desperation. Um. Okay, nope, still not. No. Still not find it. Um, what do they say in their. Have we got their game notes? What do they say about their story engine and how it works? This one, maybe? So the game's stealth nature, no, let's see what else it says. Um... So I know the karma rating affects the ending, but I'm not sure... Nope, that's just gold. 
So depending on what you choose to do in the game, it, it affects the dialogue um, and the characters will express how they feel about the current path they're on based on the decision yep. they've made. So in the we game. saw that the dialogue yep. changed, yeah. Um, and they're trying to make killing of the guards discouraged. So, um, so the, the enemy is determined by symbol metrics that are kept in the background of the game. Um, the game measures how much gold the players have stolen, whether they've killed guards or not. They will receive the good ending if they kill no guards and steal less than ten gold. You guys are all bad. Oh yeah, we're doomed. Um, and the bad ending if they kill more than one guard oh. and the neutral ending otherwise. So this is the thing. This makes for a much interesting a much more interesting moral choice than in some other games we've seen. It does, actually. Because doing bad things makes our life significantly easier. Yes, and you have to make a choice now of do I yeah. do the bad thing for the ease? Um, Although I feel they don't they, they don't, they don't the consequences. Yeah, they don't really signpost just how bad the consequences will be. Yeah. Yeah, we really can't find... Unless it's I'm in. sure we've looked everywhere. Unless we haven't picked it up, have we? Like, Hang on, what colour the, has the uh, thing turned? Yeah, we have. We've, we've had it all this time. Uh, okay. So there we go. Uh, how do I get out of there? Around this way, yeah. All right, come on, come on, man. Because I think we need to we, we need to see the consequences of these choices. Of before. all of the guards you killed, yes. We stole a lot of gold. That's we good. sure did. Let's skip through some of this. There's gods and families. families. <laughs> so that's interesting. They've changed the narrative. So it's the last house, the last instrument. Right, so we've got... I've got loads of money. <laughs> uh, so what to uh, get? So let's get that. Um, let's get that. Oh. Yeah, let's both get that one. Uh, bribe the guards tape. Might as well do that. Can you get all of them? I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Right. I can't. I'll be the dog. Right, the I'll, I'll stick with the chicken. Okay. Here we go. So let's try and let's, let's try and get this one quickly. Uh, so again, I think kind of the the way that they've. Um, I don't think you need to pick up the gold because I think no, this is the last level. I don't. Oh, I killed a god. So it's actually it might have been better to not be the chicken, and we could both have explored the. Yeah. Why is that guarding the? Is that toilet so much? It is. So they it they mentioned like that. It looks like a security camera. In the, or is it so interestingly, like... it looks like we can't actually get to this chest right here. Because we'd need either the cat or the donkey, or you need the red door ah, key. But I did. I think I, I bought, bought the key, I, so you I, could. I did, yeah. But it makes me think that it's probably not in there then. If yes, yeah. So um, again, going back to about how well the game, the narrative, and the game gel. Um, it, you know, having having the characters with different abilities. So the idea um, of teamwork is and sort of... teamwork and doing a cooperative game that is absolutely in line with what this is all about. Stop getting the gold. Come on, focus. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah, and have it. it they were saying. That... Cat, no. I think I think we have killed all of the guards. I think we have. We are bad people. But yeah, sort of narrative, thematics, and things like that. So they've got sort of the between level cutscenes as well, that sort of um, weave sort of the narrative, and it does change state based on uh, the yes. actions we've taken. So yep. the one of the animals complaining about. Oh, those guards um, had families. Maybe it is in this one. You might have to check. Okay. Let's make my way round. Which would be interesting, because if we didn't have that key, then yeah. we wouldn't be able to get this. Although, by this time, we should have got there, shouldn't we? So I if Except, I can... no, if you're not supposed to steal more than ten pieces of gold, you can never get that key. For the good end. Ah, uh, but you get the you get busking in between. You're right, you get busking. I forgot about that Oh, one. there's a toilet. I haven't been in the toilet. Maybe it's in the toilet. Do you think they've kept the... The saxophone in the, the toilet. The saxophone's in the toilet. If, if if it is there, then that's some sort of biting satire on <laughs> saxophonists. Yeah, and the fact that you no no find it. Where is it? So I I did find this a lot when I was playing it. it we sort of end up in this situation where it's have we found it? Have we not? Yeah, I I, I think the that fact that some not all of the chests look the same is a bit annoying. Yeah, so I think I think the, that that would be my only criticism. It'd be very useful to have some kind of mark against. The things that you'd already opened, and it'd be a lot easier to figure out. Bedroom? Is that a thing there? Is that a little room in there? Yeah. I think this thing maybe. Uh, yeah. I thought I'd done all the ones in that room. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Nope. Got it. Let's go. 
Right, and then, do you, what kind of ending do you reckon we're going to get, Dave? Uh, <laughs> I reckon we're going to get the good ending. Mm-hmm. We've been such good people, well, animals. Where we've where we've killed only ten or twelve people. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh no! The narrator crawl out away from the house, muscles as tense as porcupines in a balloon factory. Marvelous. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, they were suddenly blinded by a massive spotlight. Seeing nothing but white, the four animals attempted to flee, but were quickly subdued by the waiting police force. Their actions had caused too much notoriety. The police had worked out when they would strike next. They were all four hauled off to jail for their displeasure. <laughs> Executed. Oh. And then they didn't feel anything anymore. <laughs> that was very dark. But... Finn. <laughs> yeah, Marvellous. Um, okay, so quality, I think we all go to really, Wonderful really game. high quality. Wonderful game. Um, story engine. So it's interesting. So although it doesn't actually change the, the you know the, the main route of the story is fairly linear yeah. but, but it changes all of the dialogue that's happening it changes the the they have alternative endings at the end of it, it has that idea the gameplay of definitely affects agency. the story the story doesn't necessarily impact the gameplay too much no um that's true but that's because you've not got yeah there's not that much you can do to 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 well although yeah no, you're right but they're, they're kind of tied together aren't they so. Yeah. so I mean things like the decisions you make based on the story affect yeah. how much gold you've got which makes the levels easier I think easier the problem with that is where are you making the decisions so the reason it's, sometimes it's easy because there are clearly mechanics associated with the narrative mm-hmm. like choosing dialogue but because what they've got here is all diegetic choices I mean you've got the choice of do you kill the guards or not yeah so, so, so those are your narrative choices but they're yes. embedded in the game which yeah. is good um, it's what we've yeah, it's what we've been sort nice. of Missing from a lot of the yeah. other games, and and as you said, it's a real, uh, it is a choice. You you know you 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 are deciding, you know whether to to act morally or whether to to steal the money. I I do wonder whether it's a little bit too much advantageous to kill everybody and steal the money. But then but then we got executed at the end. So but there's no feedback along the way other that, than well, the dialogue, the, ca- the karma system, and things like that. So the problem. Yeah. So this is the problem, right? Is is it a case of there's not enough feedback for us to make an informed choice, yeah. or is it? Too much, too much foreshadowing of what would happen to us if we so, made those choices. So, so I, I guess one of the, so for example, maybe one of the animals could leave if you've got over a certain point. Uh, they yeah. get disgusted and they go, right? Which limits your options. <clears throat> which then limits your options and then makes you think, oh, hang on, I better not do that again. Other, but yeah, I, I but I think it's a niggly point. Or well, maybe um, if when you kill someone, you have to like bribe them, which loses yeah. some money. So then, if they either kill a lot of people or steal a lot of gold, then yeah. So, so something where there is a balance, but but very nicely put together. Mm-hmm. I think really good synergy with the story. Some nice and, and some nice effects. You know, the, the use of cutscenes and the the dialogue between the, the animals at the at the, at the end. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, very good job. Yeah, well done. Yeah, excellent. Cool. Should we move on to the next one? So, our third game looks like it's another Rapunzel game. So here we go. Oh, very nice. Okay, interesting. So, so Tom, do you want to steer this one? All right, let's give it a go. Controls. So again, I let's see if they put them in the game, but it's a shame to just have them as a splash screen at the beginning. Uh, okay, so... So, whilst to move, mouse to look around and shift to sprint. The garden is guarded by a deadly enchantress. Enchantress. Avoid her gaze if you want to make it out alive. Okay, so, so far so good. seem to be able to move. Okay. Hang on, is that some dialogue over yes, the top? Yes, I hear something. Okay. Ah. So we have a voiceover. Yeah, we didn't hear it. We, t- we turned the, the volume down because that's siren. If I can't eat someone around here, I shall die. Suya the loser's wife, at midnight, he clambered into the garden of the encounters. Let it cost what it will. So... I so one thing to sort of bear in mind when you're uh, doing voiceovers for games, it is a very good idea to include some sort of subtitles or some other visual way of uh, receiving that information, just in case yeah. you accidentally have the sound off or you know, uh, or accessibility. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to do because I missed that. So we're uh, so I know we're in the garden and we're avoiding the gaze of the enchantress. But other than that, so we've got some health. So there's a so, oh, magic flower. Yeah. Click to pick up. Okay. Come on, here's a good bet to my wife. 
<laughs> oh, nice little bit of narration. It's quite loud footsteps for yeah. this grassy plain. I'm just going to go towards this well, just because it's uh, another flower. So I like that it lights up when you get close. Ooh, did you hear the evil hear laughter? The, I yeah, did. Yeah, there's evil laughter from somewhere nearby. I'm too, I'm Almost there. too busy uh, oh, picking flowers. Is. Oh, no. There's, there's the... There's the even Enchantress. Although it looks like that? that little character from Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from about 1985. But yeah, nice to see him again. It's got a sort of um, S. See you boy. It's gay. Okay, there's a house. It's a bit like yeah. slander. Yeah, or amnesia. Mm. Here we go. Another flower. I do like that they light up, that is quite nice. Oh, that would complete. Okay. Oh, oh, Honestly, the quality is it's amazing that voiceover actors get any work, isn't it? It's obviously. Search for clues regarding the mystery of Rapunzel. So I do, I, I mean, I, I appreciate the fact they've done the voice acting, and I also think the little snippets of it in the game make a real difference. Just yes. those little. Um, I almost wish they'd done a bit more of that, kind of gone for that whole kind of Bastion style audio narration. So we're not searching for flowers now, we're searching for clues. clues. So in terms of quality, it's a nice looking game. It is, yeah. So I mean, it, again, it might look a little bit laggy on the video, but that's probably just because we're recording it and playing yeah. at the same time. I like that there's a warning that the witch is yes. nearby. That cackle is extremely useful, isn't it? Okay, so yes. there's the tower. So that's, that's probably where there's going to be clues, right? Yep, you think so? So oh, there's something like, shiny on the ground. Something on the ground. This is good. And she's coming. <laughs> yep, that's a good book. That's a clue. This looks like a journal. I wonder who it is. Maybe they dropped it. Quite terrifying. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so it, 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 as well. it works really well, yeah. So it's a sort of collection-y game. It, the, the slight problem is we do have a relatively big play area and not a lot to go on. No, I mean, I, th I think obviously they have the tower there, so they're using features to in the landscape to attract you. And that's the thing, I found one at that tower, but now what? Do you reckon I go back to the tower? Are there more around there? No, or? I doubt it. I think there's going to be other landmarks. Yeah, yeah the castle. Like yeah. Like slender, you know, like. Alright, should we go back, to, well. go back yeah. to the well? Yeah, the well seems like it's an obvious, obvious choice. So How are so what do they say about their story engine for the So um Ooh, that's a lot of rope. Oh, is that a bit of rope? Yeah. I'll just take this with me. Just in case. Or braid of hair perhaps. And and this as well. Hmm. This might come in handy later. Okay. So they're doing that thing again that a lot of um, these sort of narrative games do, which is they have a section of story, then a section of gameplay, then a section yeah. of story, in it, and it's not really sort of meshed together, because I don't know why I just picked up a rope and a log. No, it's, it's basically yeah. it's it's the idea of a premise, but then just split up. So yes. you know, so that... And according to their notes, I'm going to speak over the speak over right now. Um, they're basically trying to use the, the story to um, introduce the levels and tell you, you know, to, to lead you through the story of Rapunzel yeah. and give you a reason for doing each of these levels. But it feels like, given that... And the prince began searching for tools to destroy the enchantress once and for all. It feels like, given that the gameplay is just 
go and pick up a thing, yeah. then they could have attached this narrative to those things. Yes. So it could have been, I don't know, like when we found the journal, why not read out a page of it? Yeah. Why not tell us something yeah. about the story of uh, the world that we're in? So you've got to find weapons and armor, eh? It's all, it's very, it's very dark. dark. isn't it? It's very, very dark. Have you got any way of having a light? I think it will glow when I get near it, but other than that. So, one of the things we've noticed is that ambient lighting seems to be something that suffers when people move between different builds. Yeah. So this may be a, this may be a WebGL build problem, or it may be a, because we're running this again on a Mac. It's so dark. It's not too bad, but it's pretty dark. It's fairly dark. So it is quite a bright day today, so I'm inclined to give them the benefit of the doubt. That's true, I suppose. So the problem with what they've done then is that they, in terms of a story, story engine, um, they've they've have they got a narrative that that affects the game? Does the well, again, it's just progression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and they very clearly say it's a linear plot you're progressing through. Yeah. Um, and while exploring sort of the play area is, you know, is nice, it's a nice play area to sort of walk around, there isn't a whole lot of gameplay, it's just go to the thing and click on the thing. Yeah. And it seems to be the same play area, so... It doesn't appear that your actions are making any difference to the narrative at all. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, just progressing it. Um, and, and you can have a nice narrative game, which is linear in that way. Um, but it's really not taking advantage of the medium. No. So what about the kind of uh, the, the the themes of the story and the, the gameplays? Uh, so this is, it's, I guess, it's Rapunzel. They've gone for a sort of collection, sort of dynamic going on here. Um, Ooh, Ooh, something near something. There. there we go. What's that? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Potion? Potion? Maybe this will help in my quest against the Enchantress. But we don't even know why we're on this quest against the Enchantress, right? Or why she was chasing us in the first place. I have a feeling I was talking over that, yeah. Uh, no, no, she saw somebody else's daughter. We're a prince. Oh, okay. Hello, there's a princess at stake. Is well, that her? <laughs> all right. <laughs> But, yeah. for example, if Wen yeah. would, uh, walked over to the tower, we'd heard that lovely singing, and then our narrator had said something Absolutely. about, yeah. I, I've instantly fallen in love with this person so, I've not met. So again, I, I think the way that they, I think you've, you've got it right, that the way they could have made this work as a linear experience with the story engine is to, to have that more integration with the environment. Yeah. Um, so the story engine basically knows what state you're in based on your play, and it alters... Um, it, it alters the duration according to that, mm-hmm. um, and then the cutscenes allow for transitions between the environments. I think that would have been a much more satisfying integration. And that's yeah, it's something that's come up in other games we've seen in that it's a a relatively fixed sequence of things. So at least yeah. so within each level, we can pick these objects up I'm in any order. Them. I definitely need to protect myself. But the fact that we pick them up in any order doesn't impact anything else. It's not like he says, aha, this this potion will go well with this sword or yeah. something like that. They're yeah. all very atomic individual yeah. elements. And, and theme-wise, I don't, I don't quite... No, I don't closer. quite see how it kind of picks up on the kind of the mechanic. I mean, Rapunzel is, is, is interesting because of the... It's about the, the, you know, the so being, being cast right to the tower, the letting down of the hair... Like being trapped, the being hopeful, of, yearning. Yeah, the, sort of. that, that kind of whole bit where um, they, you know, they cut Rapunzel's hair off and then they use it to trap the prince. And so, so I think that, you know, all of that stuff seems to be missing. Um, I think of all the games, all the, the um, stories we looked at, Rapunzel is probably the one which has the weakest message, the weakest theme. Yeah. Um, but it does have some quite interesting mechanics that it implies. So to go for a Rapunzel game which just has a collection style is is yeah feels like you're you're missing out. I do feel yeah it's I'm a, struggling a little bit to remember where I've been. Partly because we've gone over the same area three times in three different levels. I don't really remember which landmark I've been to. No. It also it's quite dark. Yeah. So I think you've, you've been, I think you've been to the Tower of the Dark. I think so, yeah. Have you been to the well? 
Uh, I think so. But I also can't and see where the house is. The house, the house is off to the right. The house is where I found the potion, I think. So maybe. So maybe the well. Maybe, maybe the well. Is the well up here? It's on the high ground somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yep. Well, I mean, it's well spotted. Wait for something glowy. It doesn't seem to be. No. So maybe back at the house, and then I'll check the tower. And if not, no. So I, I suspect it's going to have, you know, a similar sort of cutscene ending to yeah. the way it's introduced the rest of the plot. So I think a nice-looking game with a fairly simple set of mechanics that, that work okay, but perhaps uh, are not as engaged as they could be. But again, not as well integrated with the story as uh, as we perhaps like. All right, should we move on? I think we should. Yeah, yep. let's move on. So our last game is called pen and, pen, and pen and paper, I think. Or uh, actually, they've called it the Tower. Mm. The Tower. Okay. Well, this is so, an interesting uh, uh, title. That's, that's, this is yeah. But is that looks like this is the Underdark, isn't it? It's the Underdark, as Drust is in there from probably. Difficult setting. Uh, what's his name? Dritz. Dritz. Yeah. Dritz. Dritz is the legend, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, should we go for buddies? Me okay. Should we go for medium? Medium sounds good. Should we get? Uh, uh, let, let's try medium. Let's try medium. Well, okay. Ah, so we get to. So might this be an agnostic character here? So the story begins in a time long forgotten, when the king has lost his daughter to an evil witch. He does not know the true intentions of the witch. All he knows is he wants to get his daughter back, no matter what. He's tried to save her by sending men and by putting a healthy price on the witch's head, but in the end, it was futile. He grew desperate and found himself out of options. So he starts sending prisoners on death row. It's a very sort of a Skyrim sort of style opening. Mm. We've. We're a prisoner on death row and we're being given one shot for redemption. Go on, then. Let's, so, let's... so, no real indication of what this choice is, other than, no. you know, I can guess that the warrior is going to be hit them with a stick and the rogue's going to be slightly sneakier. I'm, I'm going to go, go, go for mage. Oh, okay. So, Ingrid, in those ah. times, mages were considered oh. evil, no matter what. <laughs> now, I will say, I talked to this crew at the expo and they had a. Um, an unseen like something was going on with Unity. Okay, so we just and they had a disastrous. I mean, it was disastrous. That was mostly working, and the only one they were able to rebuild from the beginning was Monk after it died. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a shame. It, it does seem a shame, yes. But I think it's cool how they just. And so I, they tried. They they realized they couldn't really put bit. everything in time, so they said, "We'll just make it so you could see it was there, and then make it a mock." Fine. See. Nice choice. Yes, good choice. Okay. A newcomer. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, by me. Uh, uh, why is a lot of stuff going on This here? is... I'm already excited by this. So we're sitting in a cell in meditation, thinking about the fact that maybe the gods have put us here for a reason, and then we get dragged to the king. So... So and these are... So this isn't... A, so I, I, I instantly saw this, and I assumed it was a sort of um, a character build screen, and we could pick yes, all of our stuff. Yes, yeah, but no. But, but I no. Think, I think this is our this is our game. Say... So, um, so say nothing, explain, ask. What, what should we do? We're a, we're a really stoic monk. Should we... Um, a monk would say nothing. Right? Say nothing. Mouth yeah. silence. Uh, don't run your mouth like that. But, 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 uh, so meant to be a joke, or was that a storytelling engine problem? Yeah, I can't tell yet. <laughs> uh, in front of the king, he is a murder. Correct. Let's correct him calmly. Uh, I'm not a murderer. Injustice. Blah 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 blah. Um. Okay, what's the difference between agree and not? That's what you did, you'd be set free if you managed to bring her back. Yeah. Good, I like you. It doesn't seem to have affected our uh, good or evil rating yet. <laughs> A little reference to the other classes there. Uh, so, we're the last Tall one. bloke, dark hair. <laughs> uh, okay. Say nothing again. You say, here's what you need to know. It looks like this. A little bug, but okay, so. Do you wish to have a brief on the interface? Sure, let's. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not brief. Do you wish to have a long on the interface? Uh, so um, we've got armor, strength, dex, intelligence, blah, 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 blah. Drunken style increases the armor for two turns. Body knowledge, quivering palm. 
stun. So these are the sorts of things that really should be tooltips over each of they these different really things. Should, should they? So we, so if we forget what drunken style is, yeah. then yes. we can just mouse over it. I mean, one of the whole, one of the whole nice things about the mouse as interface is it gives you tool, the tooltip yeah. thing, right? Um, okay. Yes. Let's continue. I'm sure we'll remember that. Of course we will. Here's what we need to know: three landmarks, enchanted forest, mountain, old lake. Okay, so far so good. We get so, so it's interesting to see what we do. I mean, I know we're under time pressure, but it goes back to something we said before about the number of the amount of words. Mm -hmm. You're faced with a, a wall of text, and you immediately pick out the first three or four tech pe and items in each paragraph, and just read that and skip. Yeah. Um, uh, are we are we a good monk or are we an evil monk? Also, it's interesting that evil is blue and uh, good <gasps> yeah, is red. Yeah, that's true. Actually, no, no. Uh, let's be let's be let's be let's be cautious maybe who are cautious. you and then I'll tell you attack uh, John oh. thieves everywhere oh, I think he's on fight you. so this is combat tutorial it's your turn ah uh, okay okay so we attack we rolled 13 we damaged him 300 damage how much health does he have? So I think it's a shame that they've that they've not kind of couched some of those rolls. Whoa, what? We became extremely... E Wait, here's a question. Are we very good or are we very evil? Because the evil bar is very full, but the thing <laughs> has moved towards good. Good, yeah. Yes. That's a very good question. I actually don't know, and I don't know why that happened. Because we just killed a thief that had attacked us. Yes. So why are we why why are we good or evil? Uh, can uh, you please help me? Okay. So if we help him, we'll see which way it moves. Go on. Then. Okay. So, it, so so it is moving towards good. So good so. is blue. It just it's a bit weird uh, the way it's laid out. Yes. With one gesture, you approach him. We just uh, blah, blah, blah. you can have my page. Uh, no, we're a monk. We don't. We've yep. got a vow of. Something. Something or other, probably. So we're looking for the king's daughter, right? Uh, yes, and we have to go to three landmarks, though I've already forgotten why. Uh, so, so we're in the forest, that's the first yeah. landmark. Uh, okay. Let's go to the tavern. There's always rumours in the tavern. Yeah, that's dry. Uh, we analyse the area, we don't see anything, but there's a figure looking at us from the thing. Talk to the person. If you give us a hand... We'll help out. Why not? Uh, I did hear of a new presence in the woods. Someone roaming, talking with everyone that comes in or out. We have some ale in the house if we go inside. Yeah. Let's have. So. Let's see what the fuss is about. So I, I, I kind of they, they've obviously gone for a, a choose your own adventure style. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you play the sorcery games or things like that on the on on mobile, they've gone for that, which is fine. Um, it does really limit your. The mechanics you've got though, and your interaction points. So you've got some interesting fight stuff going on, but your choices are in fights. Presumably, you can activate your skills once you have them, and all you've got is the the the, the choosing from the list. It is possible to, to to do that and do a really good job, but that's you know it's quite difficult. It doesn't do anything. I have to interrupt. Okay. That's a lot of text. Yeah. It's also not very spread out, so it's it feels yeah. like even more text just because it's all bunched together. So it's not like we get our line, then the bartender's line, yeah. and then the bartender's yeah. line. Best so, best. so one of the one of the problems with just taking the choose your own adventure format and putting it on here is it doesn't take advantage of the medium at all. So it gives you it gives you a nice sort of um, a set of mechanics to start with, sort of yes. just just choosing one of these things. Yes. But there are so many more interesting things that you can do with it, and, and you can build on it and do some interesting things on top of it. Absolutely. So, for example, we've got all of these stats up here, and it mentions something like wisdom will give you more um, uh, more information about puzzles and stuff. Yeah. But if we had a way to manipulate these stats through these dialogue choices, so yeah, if the more strength options we pick, the higher our strength becomes, and we get more. Yeah. Uh, more, more, uh, and, and you can give those indications set for dialogue, and now you've got a reason for choosing dialogue, which may be at odds with your narrative mm -hmm. decision making. Whoop. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the playable demo. Please yeah. don't forget to pre-purchase for extra content. <laughs> and the loot boxes. Well, I like what at least they've got a business model. Right, <laughs> that's true. So, okay, so what do we think about the the quality here? So, um, it's it's a, a fairly simple. 
uh, interface. Um, they do have a lot going on. They've got there's, there's, there's some, yeah. Though our infamy yeah. is uh, infamy hasn't, hasn't reset. reset. No. Okay. And okay, when so. I played it in the expo, I have no idea what I did, but I was able to earn a level up on uh, drunken style, right. which I don't know how to apply, but. What you do interact in the story engine does actually and, and it will, will, will give you some extra options, presumably, for what you can do. So let's play as a violent, nasty monk. I'm trying. It's not uh, changing. Okay. Oh. No. Okay. Um, so yeah, I agree. It looks like there could be quite a lot going on below the surface, even though it's relatively straightforward on this. But the I, thing is, I don't I, think there I, is. The, I, this hasn't changed. No, it hasn't. Just, no. Well, well, that could be a, a bug for the replay mind. Perhaps. Attack. Well, let's try spells. Ah. Uh, Dragon style. Doesn't do you, anything. You don't have you it don't yet. Have any, so. But then why Again, is it? Why is it offering it as an option? You right. think they'd appear as they. I also can't go back. Okay. Oh. Ah. Potions. I don't think you've got. Don't know if you've got any. I've got a health potion. That's it. Yeah. So. Attack. Again, why, why are the options? If yeah. this is the only thing that I can do. So that's a shame. So the, the ah, here's a level up. So now you've gained. You can choose. Also, now I can actually go choose which one you want to level up on. Uh, I had trouble choosing that one as well. Oh, I think I was on tranquility. Yeah. Has, have you missed the option? There, there right. it was. It was leveled up. Yeah, so it is. Totally it's, if you click on the um, the outside of it, I think. But it's, it's just just a bit like easier. So okay, story engine wise. What did they say in their game notes? About the there doesn't story seem to be a lot that changes. No. The engine keeps track of every decision the player makes and it feeds the narrative that he has chosen. It also looks at the infamy counter and continues the story based on decisions. Um, and almost all the decisions you pick have a different dialogue line. So, so, e so even yeah. this, like, we sort of, I, if I try and attack, it just says, oh, you can't do that. And when I try yeah. to escape, it says, oh, you can't do that either. And when I disagree, said, I don't want to go on this quest, it says, oh, no, you can't do that, you've got to. So what they've said there is about all your decisions have a different dialogue line. What they're talking about is, is they have an immediate split join. Yeah. So basically, yeah. You're, you, you make a decision, there is one line, which is different, and then you're back to the main, main the theme of, of yeah. Yeah, the progression. Which effectively means it's, it's, it's kind of linear. Um, I mean, we're definitely railroaded onto uh, yes. into cert making certain yeah. choices. So, so I, I think that that there's clearly the other, the some, other thing there's is clearly some kind of engine there. So, but it's perhaps not being. We get into one combat situation. There's yeah. all of these different things sort of tied into a combat engine, and there's only ever one chance they show it off. Yeah. Uh, we get a level up where we can use yeah. it, and then at the end, if you try and attack the guy, he says, "Haha, you can't attack me." Yeah. So, making all of that. It, it just feels a little bit, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it is difficult because when you're creating these kind of games, you have to kind of you have to create the, the if you like the, the the world simulation, the game world. You have to create a narrative engine, but then you also have to write the story in the in the engine. So, um, you know how you said um, you got to get ninety percent of the gameplay working and ten percent of the time. It looks yeah. like they spent the other way around and got all this built and then yes. Yeah, they just haven't quite done enough with it. Um, so, it, yeah, if, if they had issues before they submitted it and they lost some of their progress, then maybe sort of like different characters would have different stats and that would affect different things. So yeah. that might be more interesting. But even so, just with one character, like I say, being yes. able to sort of like if change your stats at either at the start or through some of your options. Um, and in terms of the kind of the, the, the narrative design here, you know, how well the story matches with the... the the, the kind of the mechanics of the game. Um, again, the mechanics of the game are essentially making those choices and fighting. I've forgotten what, what actual what story is this supposed to be. This is this Rapunzel. Was Rapunzel. Rapunzel. So again, they they've not really made anything of of that. No, they, they kind of I mean we don't meet Rapunzel. It's a generic quest. Yes, that and has indeed, a Rapunzel it says shape. They chose Rapunzel because they wanted the medieval aspect to create. Yeah, game. which is which is quite a weak connection. Yeah. Um, you know, there's all that stuff about imprisonment, like I said, about the, the usage of the of, of the hair, the climbing up and down. There's all these kind of mm -hmm. mechanical, interesting things that are going on. Um, Hang on a minute. This is I don't remember seeing this before, but I don't also don't remember what dialogue choice I picked. Decide to carry on with your life. 
Oh, somehow you got. Somehow uh, I did manage to escape after all. I will do it. I will find your tunnel. What needs to be done. Nope, we're just gonna continue. We discovered the secret monk ending. There you go. Oh. So there is technically an alternate ending. Oh, okay, okay. Monks <laughs> are reasonable people, and they just they don't want to go on adventures, which makes them an interesting choice for a protagonist, then, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, and in terms of pacing, I mean, I, there's... just a little too much words on the on the screen. I think, in terms of the yes. pace. Okay, so we just let him finish, and then we say, are you sorry for your actions? And we say no. That's how we get okay. the secret ending. Based on wisdom. Or and also, again, so we, I can pick no, or I can pick a sarcastic yes. Yes. But again, that's not really choice. So in terms of pacing, they have got this kind of confrontation with the king to start with, which is quite nice. And then there's this lull as you explore, and then there's the combat afterwards. So they yeah. do have a little, little pacing graph going on. Um, but again, the characters aren't particularly well developed. Um, so it, again, it feels like they've got all the all the pieces, but they're not quite stitched together. They're just not quite put together. Okay, okay. all right. Is that our last game? For this I think it's our last game, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching, um, and we'll see you for another video.